Rebecca Bell. Rebecca's short-term goal is to continue working towards building her strength and to rejoin the HMA3 demo team. Her long-term goal is to attend UofL Medical School and become a pediatrician. She will show support and loyalty to Grandmaster Wong and Wong's Martial Arts by continuing to attend class. She plans on passing down the knowledge she has gained in HMA to her fellow students. Rebecca's most memorable moment was being able to perform in the Miami Heat New Orleans Pelicans game halftime show at the Young Center. Bridget and Barry Byers. The Byers family's short-term goal is to continue on the map, one day earning a second Don Black Belt. Perry's long-term goal is to go, the Perry's long-term goal is to go to a great high school and college. Mrs. Byers' long-term goal is to obtain her master's degree. The Byers family will show support and loyalty to Grandmaster Wong and Wong's martial arts by continuing their training at HMA 3, all while encouraging those they meet to join them on the mats. The Myers' most memorable moment was when the car was loaded down with all the trophies they won in their first Taekwondo Championship. <laughs> Denise, Kevin, and Sarah Clark. Mrs. Clark's short-term goal is to show off her black belt in the 2018 International Pulmonary Hypertension Conference, showing everyone in attendance that even with pulmonary hypertension, one can still do great, fantastic things. Her long-term goal is to become Master Clark. Kevin and Sarah's short-term goal is to join the demo team to be like Sally and Claire. Their long-term goal is to become third-degree black belts because third dons are awesome. The Clark family will show support and loyalty to Grandmaster Wong and Wong's martial arts by continuing to train on the mats and they will invite all of their friends to join them. Before, coming to ta before beginning Taekwondo, Mrs. Clark could not walk up eight steps without passing out. Her most memorable moment was the first time at HMA2 she stood at the bottom of the stairs, staring up, thinking, I can't do this. <laughs> but step by step, yes, she can. She made it and earned her yellow belt. This summer, will be a five, she will be a five-year survivor of pulmonary arterial hypertension. Kevin and Sarah were so proud of their mom that day. Jada Franconia. Jada's short-term goal is to one day earn her SWAT team uniform. Her long-term goal is to get into a good college and to maintain the core values taught to her here at Wong's Martial Arts. She will show support and loyalty to Grandmaster Wong and Wong's Martial Arts by continuing to follow Grandmaster's teachings. She will also continue to come to class and pass on her knowledge to her fellow classmates. Jada's most memorable moment was being beat by Claire Summonen's machine gun kicks during the afternoon sparring class. Will Gherkins. Will's short-term goal is to make Grandmaster Wong proud as he continues his training. Jackson Grimes. Jackson's short-term goal is to one day join SWAT team. His long-term goal is to always be the very best he can be 
both on and off the mats. He will show support and loyalty to Grandmaster Wong and Wong's martial arts by dedicating himself to teach others. He will also always be enthusiastic. Jackson's most memorable moment was the day he won all first place trophies during the Wong's Martial Arts World Taekwondo Championship when he was a yellow belt. Will Gerkins. Will's short-term goal is to make Grandmaster Wong proud as he continues his Taekwondo journey. Will's long-term goal is to one day earn a black belt in Judo. He will continue to show support and loyalty to Grandmaster Wong and Wong's martial arts. By always being respectful to others, he will tell all of his friends how much he loves Wong's martial arts. Will's most memorable moment was actually his very first time at Wong's Martial Arts. Everyone was so nice, it made Will know that this is where he wanted to be. and Jackson Hadlock. The Hadlock family's short-term goal is to work on fine-tuning their technique and to grow as leaders. Their long-term goal is to one day all become masters. The Hadlock family will show support and loyalty to Grandmaster Wong in Wong's martial arts by volunteering for all HMA community events and during the World Taekwondo Championship. Mrs. Hadlock, or Mr. Hadlock's most memorable moment was taking home an Eagle Trophy for the first time in the breaking competition. Mrs. Hadlock's was recently when she broke her brick during her black belt test. <coughs> Jackson's most memorable moment was his very first championship in 2015 where he took home all first place trophies. Luke Hagen. Luke's short term goal is to continue training to become Luke Sabadell. His long term goal is to become Master Instructor and be called Master Luke. He will show support and loyalty to Grandmaster Wong and Wong's martial arts by teaching others to be their best selves. Luke's most memorable moment was during the last day of last year's Taekwondo Championships. He was competing and sparring when he was accidentally kicked pretty hard. The referee asked him if he would wanted to quit, and Luke said, no way, sir, and keep going, finishing out the match. He refused to quit. Jerry Hunter. Mr. Hunter's short-term goal is to continue his Taekwondo training and to become a Sabanim with his second Don. His long-term goal is to one day become a master instructor in both Taekwondo and Judo, and to take over Master Mimi's job as head instructor of HMA Oklahoma. <laughs> he will show support and loyalty to Grandmaster Wong and Wong's martial arts by continuing to attend color belt and leadership classes. He will share the knowledge he has garnered to his fellow classmates and will always attend every HMA event with enthusiasm and dedication. Mr. Hunter's most memorable moment was both his first day as a new white belt and when he walked in his first Easter parade. He enjoyed learning how to kick all while walking over two miles. 